Hey, Richard. And the roll on the ball, up and down the fingers. And into the palm. And the pads of the tiki. And the thumb. Down into the wrist. And across the knuckles. And we'll leave the ball right there, interlace the fingers and squeeze. And release and squeeze. Release and squeeze. Release, we'll go around the back. Switch. 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 And you get the waist through the legs. Switch, switch, and switch. We'll put the ball on the floor. Assess how the feet feel. And uh, press on the ball right in the middle of the foot three times. Move it up to the knuckles. For us on each going across. Roll across the knuckles. And bring the ball to the middle of the foot and wiggle the toes. Press toes into the ball. Rise up and separate the toes. Press. Wiggle. And scribble. Three, two, one, release, reassess, go to the other foot, and press down three times. Knuckles. Roll across. Middle of the foot and wiggle toes. Rest toes into the ball. Raise and separate. Press. Wiggle. And scribble. Three, two, one. 
down and let's get the ball out of the way, reassess how the feet are feeling and shake the tree. Three, two, one, center. Twist at the waist, swing the arms. And center. Gonna do some primordial Tai Chi this morning. So we got our hands down. Facing in, bend the knees as you bring them up in front. And then elbows down, bring them down. On the chi ball, then take your right hand and bring it over to the right side. Look at it about eye level, third eye level. Bring it back, same thing with the left hand. And bring it back to center, forming that chi ball, bring it up. Spine out and down, back to the heart, and then over to the right, and then over to the left, back to the right, back to center with the right hand down, left hand up, bring the right hand out and up, left hand goes down. Right hand comes in and down, right hand, left hand comes up. Forming that chi ball, pivot on the left heel, throw the pitch with the right arm. Come around, left hand comes out, gather yeah, some chi, right hand. Left hand, pivot on that left heel again as you turn around, throw the pitch. Right hand is on the bottom, left hand on top of the chi ball, right hand comes up and out. Left hand goes down, then the left hand comes up. Right hand goes down, pivot on the heel, throw the pitch. Left hand out, right hand out, left hand out and in. Both hands out, go down, gather up chi. Left hand in as the hands come together and go up the spine to the crown. And then down. To the lower down tian, take two breaths. Come around and let's take 16 steps or so. And then some elbows towards the knee, don't have to touch. And then slap the opposite heel in front. And then in back. And then take eight or so cross steps with a twist.
And then we're gonna walk, march, or jog. So today, gonna to work on some of uh, those balance exercises again. We did uh, a week or two ago. And uh, I added a sit and stand because it builds up strength in the legs, which is of course, Crucial balance, but no rapid squats. If you want to do those, I think I'm just going to bounce myself. Maybe you do be safe. You can do what you're doing, of course. And uh, mini bands, the Thursday mini band day. All right, going to get going in five, four. Three, two, one, two. Good. Good. Twenty-nine and thirty. Two breaths. Interlace the fingers. Raise the hands up. Reach up for the sky. Come up on your toes if you can. Back. And lean back if you can. Back to center, let's lean one direction, one side. One direction, one side, yes. And then the other. Back to center, lower the hands to the chest, push out. Come on down, interlace behind the back, raise up. Squeeze together, the shoulder blades. Come down and shrug. And roll back. Roll forward. Form an L. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and hold. And release and squeeze. And release and squeeze. Release, raise the arms and rotate. Switch directions. Thumbs are up, thumbs are down. One arm across the body, pressing in at or above the elbow. Then the other. First arm behind the back, pressing down and in. And then the other. Extend the arms and bring them back and open up the chest. Ooh. 
the breaths. Come on in, put your hands behind the head, uh, interlace the fingers, and again, open up the chest. Grab both elbows and rock side to side. Then one arm, fingers up, pull back. Fingers down. Drop the wrist, wiggle the fingers, make a fist. Other hand, fingers up. Down. And block. Come on down and rotate the neck. Other way. Nod. And go your shoulder. Let's do a side lunge. Go the other way. And come on up and grab a stick. It is a gym stick day, so let's do some dynamic swimmers behind the back in one direction. And then the other. Bring the stick up overhead and go side to side. And then behind the waist and twist at the waist. Bring the stick down to just above the knees. Bring your hands in front between the knees. Hinge at the waist as you pull up. And then bring the stick out in front. Step back, hold on with two hands. Hinge at the waist, stretch the shoulders and upper body. One up, bring the stick with one hand across the body. Hinge at the waist as you bring your arm, free arm underneath the armpit and tug at the shoulder. And then do the same thing the other way. Up. 
And then bring the stick to the side of the foot. Push out with the top hand, pull in with the bottom hand as you tug, uh, as you hinge at the waist. Same thing the other way. Bring the stick out in front of first foot. Bring that about six inches, the toes about six inches away from the stick. Lean the stick on the collarbone. Slide your hands down. Lift the heel of the, uh, lift the sole. You're on your heel. And you can wiggle back and forth if you want. And come on back down. Do the same thing on the other foot with the other foot. Come on up, press the sole of the first foot against the stick. And then the other. And bring one foot forward, the other, your back on the balls of your feet. Come on down and stretch the hip flexors, bending the front knee. Then reverse the positions of the feet. And then grab one foot by the shin, ankle, or Toes, stretch the quads. And then the other. And then bring the first foot in front. Press that knee towards the back as you hinge slightly at the waist. And then the other. And come back up, stick in front. Holding on with two hands, one hand or a finger or two. We're going to come up on our toes for about 15. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then back on our heels for about 15. Three, two, one, and back down. All right, let's put the stick down. You might want to keep it nearby. You might want to use it for some of these balance exercises, but let's start with the chair for the first two. We're going to do 10 sit to stands. Again, uh, your hands can be pushing off if you need to, but you want to sit down all the way and come back up. The more you do this, the stronger your legs will get. So think about doing it meal times or sit down to watch something on the television. Six, seven, eight. Um, chest. 
All right, now we're gonna use the back of the chair if you need to. You can hold on with two hands. You can have two hands above it. You can do it with one hand, however it feels right for you or with nothing, but we're gonna come up on one leg and try to hold for another 20, 19, Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Again, hold on with two hands, or you can be on a counter too. Let's do the other leg. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one, and down. Let's get the chair out of the way. We're going to do uh, the Brad's, Brad's walk. We um, did most of these the last time we did this. Brad of Brad and Bob. First one is to come up on your toes. And here you might want to use uh, the pole or be next to a wall or a counter or something like that. Just walk forward a couple of times on your toes. If you can, walk backwards, otherwise turn around. Then if you can, walk on your heels. And back. Then go over on your fifth metatarsal. And back, and again, if you can't walk backwards, turn around. And then in on the first metatarsal. And back. Then you're gonna walk like a duck. And then, of course, you're going to walk like a pigeon. Goes in. And then finally, put both, in, uh, both feet close together, not uh, touching, but close together. Swivel on your uh, heels, sit on your toes, heels. Toes, heels, toes, back. Go three in the other direction. And then back to center. All right. Now, let's. Again, if you need to have a stick or a chair or be next to a wall, we're gonna go forward, back to center, sideways, back and across, forward, sideways, back and across, sideways, back and across, then the other foot, forward, sideways, back, cross. and across. And then I'm gonna do the clock. You can hold on to a stick. I'm gonna turn around. I am gonna call out the number on the clock from noon to six. Use your right foot um, or 12 to six, use your right foot. Uh, everything else, use your left foot for today. So 12, three, nine, 11, six, 
five, seven, two, eleven, ten, one, five, three, three, <laughs> over there, nine, eleven, four, one, ten, and five. All right. I think we got it. I only had one mistake myself. Uh, take a couple of breaths before we do the hydro breathing or ha breath. That's uh, a big inhale through the nose, three dimensional. Let those rib cages expand. And then for the count of 10, through the mouth, say ha. Do five rounds of that. Here we go. And then rub those hands together and cultivate chi to form a chi ball. Which is expanding and contracting and moving as we move with it like water flowing from one channel to the other. And centering with two breaths. And then let us open our hearts. Pause on this inhale, exhale to send it out. And center with two breaths. And bring down heavenly chi. And go down, gather it up. And ah. <laughs> ah. Thanks, Tom. You're welcome, Mira. Have a good one. You too.
Thank you, Tom. Nina, take care. Enjoy this day. I will. All you right. Too. I will. Um, and for those of you sticking around, we got bands today. Two different ones. And um, let's just start by wrapping them around the wrists and doing some arm extensions out in front. Out, hold for about a second and come back in. That's two. Eight, nine, and 10. And then we'll go behind in around the wrists. One, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we'll uh, go down on the ground. I'm going to switch. The camera. Whoops, wrong one. There we go. And let's wrap it around the ankles. Oh, I'm gonna use the uh, green band for this. And we're just gonna bring one foot up and then the other, like we're marching. Two. And 10. And let's bring it up to above the knee. Bring the heels in close to the hips. Hands are by the side. We're going to come up in a bridge. And pull for two, three, and down. Two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. Two, three, two, three. And this time let's hold for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, and one, and back down. And then we're going to come over to the side, do some clamshells. One. Ten and the other way.
And then back on our backs. And we're gonna do 10 more. One. Two. Three. Four. Squeeze those glutes. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and now take the band off the legs. Go back standing up. And we'll start behind the back again, around the wrists. I'll wait till everybody gets up. All right, you ready? One, two, three, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. And then let's go up over overhead. One, nine. Excellent. 